you need either. Can you take a minute just to look through those books and preview them? Do you know what I mean by preview? Do, would you like me to, it's sort of like a picture book, but it's not even quite that much. Why don't you watch me do one? Okay, go ahead and put those books down and close them right up and then and just put your eyes right on me. I'm gonna do a little, when I do a little preview of a book, I'm trying to figure out, is this a book I wanna read? Right? So I look at the title, Henry and Mudge and the Snowman Plan, and I think, oh, I know Henry and Mudge, and I like those stories, Liam. I, I, I think Cynthia Ryland is a good author. And I'm looking at the picture, and it looks like Henry and his big dog Mudge have a very large ball here, snowman plan. Maybe they're going to be doing something with making a, uh, a snowman. I d notice I haven't even opened it yet. I look on the back. I see, is there anything here? Um, it's a ready-to-read book. There's some bones on it. Eh, that doesn't help me a lot. I open it up little picture here. <gasps> what do I come to? What's on this page? You don't have to raise your hands for her. I can see you. So go ahead and words say it. And letters. There's words and letters. That was very clever of you to see that. What are those words and letters? How are they arranged? Words are first and letters are second. Well, they're actually, the letters are inside the words. They go together. Right? Like peanut butter and jelly. Hard to separate them from um, one another. So we have some words. We have here what's called contents. Have you ever seen a contents page? Yeah. And it tells you there's how many stories in here. Liam, take a look at this. How many stories are in here? In our book? In this chapter book? Count with me. One, two, three. There are three stories. Do you know what this, these are? These are the titles of the story. What are these numbers over here? Did someone, Quentin, did someone just say, oh, I like 5, 15, and 25? I'm going to just put those on there. What do those numbers mean? I see you, Reese. You check and see. What do you think they mean, that 5, 15, and 25? Where the stories, where they are. Do you think she might be right? Do you think on page five, if we found that, we would see the story contest? Mm -hmm. I think you're right. That would be how I would preview it. And all the time I'd be saying to myself, is this a story I might want to read? Go ahead and take a few minutes to look over the other two stories. I previewed the snowman for you. Go ahead and look at these other two stories. And, and in about a minute or two, I'm going to ask you which story you might want to read. We have to agree on one. You might not get your choice but we'll, we'll do our best. So they're very different stories. Let me take a little look through. Look at the front, look at the back. Look Excuse me, interruptions. The students will be going out at recess, and the students will be going outside at recess. Thank you. the second book if you haven't gotten to that yet. Liam, when you finish looking at that, can you put them in order on the top of the book you want to look at first? Reese, could you do that also? Yeah. And Tanya, did you hear me? Can you do that as well? Go ahead and order the books. Like if I wanted to see Meet the Astronaut, that would be right on top. Put your books in order. Let's see what books you want to read. Hmm. And Reese, go ahead and order your books now. Put them in the order. Which book do you want to read first? All right, I think we're going to go with Meet the Astronaut. And if we have time, Quintina will come back to All by My, uh, All About Me. Okay? So let me take these books away. And you know what? Without even opening up that book, what, why the two of you wanted um, Meet the Astronaut? Why, why did this intrigue you, interest you? Reese, go ahead and start for us. Um. Because I, I want to be an astronaut too, so I should pick this book, How They Do It. Yeah, so you have some natural interest in it. If you want to be an astronaut, it's probably a good book for you to, to take a look at. Liam, what caught your eye with this book? It can teach me about astronauts. So you think this is an informational book? It's going to give you some information about astronauts? 
Quintana, would you agree with that? Do you think it's informational or do you think it's a story like Henry and Mudge? Agree. You agree? With what? With William and Reese because my brother wants to be an astronaut. So you're thinking about you even though this wasn't your first choice, you're did you see how her brain just worked? Even though this wasn't her first choice, Reese, she started thinking, what could I use to connect with this story? How clever. So you have a brother who wants to be an astronaut? Well, you'll find in this story, there are two women in this story, both of whom are astronauts as well. So we'll have to read to see. Go ahead and open up that story, or, or that information, that book. So we have our, our opening page here. And we see our title. Can, can we read that chorally, ready, on three? We're going to start right up here. Ready? One, two, three. Meet the astronaut. I'm all set. Go ahead and turn that page. No, hold, hold on. There's something wrong with my book. I, I don't have one picture on my page. Tessie? What? What's? Is there something? There's something odd about Max Winter's book. What? What did Max Winter do here? What's he doing here? Help me out here, because I'm not getting this. Let me look again. Go ahead and explain it to me. Check and see if it makes sense to you. Go ahead, Liam. Why is there, why are there two pictures? They don't go together. Reese, you have an idea. You thinking I about this? I think that here's the moon, and I think he's about like, oh. Uh, a little bit away so we can't see, so they put it closer. They want you to look at it so it's up, sort of an up close picture? Yeah. Quintiana? What do you think? I mean, listen, listen, because Quintiana is soft voice, so let's lean in. Go ahead. In case you don't have enough room for words, you can put it on the next page. You could, because there's only a little space for it. You know what? In informational books, authors do this. They give you a big picture, and this is a big picture of what word matches this big picture on that page? What one word matches the big picture, this big picture? Go ahead and frame it with your fingers. By framing, I mean put it on either side. Watch me do it on this page, you can do it on the next. I'm saying the word space. This is a big picture of space. And this is a close-up of the astronaut doing some work. They give me both pictures because it helps me to fill in some information. Go ahead and turn the page. Let's see if they do any other crazy things in this book. So what do we have here? Reese? They have crazy costumes. Okay, hey, you know, it looks like crazy. I'm, when I was a little girl, this is how astronauts, it's a long time ago, this is how they dressed. It looks like they're almost dressed in like an aluminum foil. They look very different today, as we'll see. What does that tell you then, if this is a long time ago? What kind of information is the author giving us? It's giving us, like, when we were born in our mom, were, so we can see, like, when back, like, when we weren't born, we can see still when we were back then. Still, we can, we can still see when it's back then, because they put it in the book. Watch what I write up here. This book is going to give us, wait. Information? Me, it is going to give us information, and if I could make an H, I could tell you it's also going to give us, do you know what this word is? I don't know if you even know it. This is quite a big word. Do hey, you know that word? History. It's going to give us a history background. Uh, so it's not just about astronauts today, good reading, but it's also going to tell us about astronauts a long time ago. And this astronaut's name is John Glenn, and, he, and it's going to be some information about John Glenn because he starts this. Turn the page. What's odd about this page? Quintiana, what's different about this page than any of the pages we've seen so far in terms of the photograph? What's 
different. It's, 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 it's not colorful. It's not colorful. Do you think they just made a mistake here? No. Well, why is this picture then in black and white? Um, because it may be back in the old, old, old days. Well, let's just take one old off that. <laughs> back in the old days, you're right. Remember when Liam told us about history? This tells us a history. This is an actual photograph from 45 years ago. That long ago, right here. And I got another thing about I think the astronaut crashed, like the astronaut crashed into the water. Can you see the word crashed <coughs> on that page, or do you see another word on that page that tells you what the astronaut <coughs> did? Landed. The astronaut landed. How would be landed be different than crashed? Landed means... Because like, you're going to be an astronaut. This would be yeah, an important landed, thing to know. Landed means like you, if, you, if you want to stop floating, you can just land. Right. I think, would we agree it would be better to land than to yeah. crash? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's turn the page. Uh-oh. Time's going forward. If we had a little timeline, we could say... 1960, and now I actually remember this day. This is 1969. Take a minute to look at page 8 and 9 and tell me, what, what are they writing about on page 8 and 9? What happened in 1969? They had these things. We didn't have these in the old, we didn't have these in the real days. In the old days, in the, in the 1960 days, you're right. It's a moon rover. They don't give you that information. But because I'm so old, I actually remember it. And you're right, it was new technology. But what's the big idea here, guys? What happens? What are they chronicling for you? What history are they ta talking to you about here? I think they're going to put a flag on the moon. I don't see that in the book. How did you know that? Because you're so bright. No, because I read, I read it in a book at my house. You must really want to be an astronaut. In fact, they do. What flag do they put on the moon? American. It is an American flag. And you know why? Do you know who this is? No. Your book doesn't tell you. I find this odd in this book. I don't know why they don't tell you. Look, read this with me. Let's do it quarterly again on three. One, two, three. This, this astronaut was, was the, the first man to walk, walk on the moon. moon. And you know what his name is? Does anyone know the first astronaut to walk on the moon? No. Neil Armstrong. That's actually Neil Armstrong. This is a real photograph of Neil Armstrong walking on the moon. You know what? You guys are ready to read this all on your own. Go back to the beginning. Open it up. Please read as Reese so eloquently said inside your head. I will tap 